mkurugenzi <laughs> my man mkurugenzi da stories season mbichi season mpya season pyam <laughs> ah man I already i am liking it story ya kwanza mazee nimepigiwa juzi nikasema hu 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 Ah uh, we are off to a good start man. Ah uh, kuna ma story hapa nje wa dao. Other is mume kwa freshi, muko timam inawabamba. Nice, hapo sawa. Okay. Wadao mtaniruhusu nifiche fiche ma details kidogo manake ya kuna sensitivity pale. So majina jina ma kampuni kampuni nini nini kidogo naomba nisiwaambie. Nyinyi sikizeni tu hekaya. Sawa so, sawa dao. Now kama kuna kitu niko sure wengi wenu mnakumbuka ni either this year or late last year i'm not very sure ethiopia iligonga vichwa vya habari sababu ya ile vita ya watigrey pale unakumbuka hiyo kulikuwa na conflict at some point hapo si hii ilikuwa ni last year ama ni this year i think ilikuwa towards the end of last year eh, into this year if i'm not wrong um kitu watu wengi hawajui ni kwamba apart from hiyo vita ya tigre na nini nini bado kula kuaga na conflicts ndani ya Ethiopia sana ukauliza watu kwa streets hapa about Ethiopia watakwambia yeah, well Ethiopia is relatively a peaceful country but no <laughs> kuna kuaga na mangori kila wakati huko ndani but what usually happens ni wakati kuna noma the first thing Ethiopia does ni ku shut off internet So mkiumia umia huko ndani hakuna design ya kurelay information nje ya nchi sababu internet gone. So here at Grey I think ilikuwa ni ngori deadly juu yenyewe the world got to know that uh, in Ethiopia yenyewe mambo haiko sawa. Now this year mwezi wa nne kuna kampuni iko tu hapa hapa Kenya wanapiga mambo ya ukulima 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 na mambo yao inaenda fiti sana. In fact wadosi wakasema ah since kitu ina wake eh tumeanza kupata alternative eh, ways of farming inaweza kuwa fit maze eh, katika zile harakati zetu za eh, zetagwa SDGs eh si ku eradicate hunger ni moja ya hiyo si tu expand hii kitu tuanze kuingia eh, 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 continental twende other african countries nini nini sababu hapa wa Kenya wako sawa wacha tu spread hii knowledge maze na information to other countries very beautiful idea The first country hawa watu waliamua kuingia ilikuwa Ethiopia. Ethiopia by the despite hizo ngori kidogo mnasikia wale watu wanapiga farming si mchezo. Ah huko iko fee Ethiopia. Eh, farming huko iko sawa. So majamaa wakaamua sawa, kaende sana twende Ethiopia tukafanya hii mambo. So hawa watu wanatolewa kwa hii kampuni hapa Kenya, wanaenda Ethiopia, wanakuwa attached kwa institutions zenye wana teach watu hii mambo ya alternative uh, means of farming. So wanaenda huko kama ma lecturer. So kikosi ya mtu tisa ikachaguliwa eh, waingie Ethiopia wafanye mambo yao. So among our watu tisa main character wetu leo ambaye tutamuita nani? Tumuita nani? Tumuita Deno. De, Deno eh? Acha tumuite eh? Eh Deno, acha tumuite Deno. Bas, very nice. So Deno Uh, ako excited for the opportunity anataka kwenda Ethiopia afanye mambo uh, of course pia kukuwa uh, country nyingine ina manisha is more mula for the pocket so sawa sawa but kula katashwishi kidogo tu by the time they know anatoka hapa and Ethiopia mtoto wake alikuwa amebakisha takriban siku nne azaliwe <laughs> but sasa una check they know itakuwa tricky kungoja ngoja um, ikasemekana you know what ni sawa since atuendi huko milele wacha tu tuende nipige pige nitapata tu ka off nirudi Kenya after maybe mwezi moja mwezi moja na nusu nione mtoto basi alafu nirudi Ethiopia sasa mpaka mama akakubali kila kitu safi na mwezi wa nne this year 2023 deno e, na kikosi yake ya mtu tisa wakaelekea Ethiopia but hawakuenda wote at the same time walivunjwa into two groups Deno na wenzake wa nne wakaenda wa kwanza. Wakaenda waka touch down wapi Addis. Sasa pale Addis wakapiga kambi kwanza siku mbili wenzake waka wakam. So two days later the other four wakawa join wapi Addis Ababa. Now hii kitu haiko ina happen yote Addis Ababa. Walikuwa wanavunjwa bado into two groups. So kwa hii watu tisa four 
walikuwa wabaki hadi sababa was it 4 or 5 siko sure about the number but half walikuwa wabaki hadi sababa waendelee na shughuli yao then the other half walikuwa wapige another 500 kilometers up north into the amhara region kuna town pale inaitwa bahardar wanafaa waende waingie bahardar wa wafanye mambo yao huko waenda kupiga ma lecturing hapa na pale wafundishe watu mambo ya ukulima bora alternative means of farming hey watu watari hapa nje so wamekaa hadi sababa two days hiki kosi nyingine imefika ehe wamesplitiwa watu wakubaki hadi somebaki watu wa bahardar wameenda bahardar now it is when these guys arrive at bahardar when they realize that wait tumekuwa tukisikia mavita vita za huko matigre wanapigana pigana e but huku pia mali tunaenda banani mambo haiko sawa bana the federal uh, military wanapigana sana na wananchi ni nini ndio mbaya but hizi vita tuzisikii huko Kenya but ai hey, wanatandikana mbaya so of course ona kam ku discover uh, serikali the federal government wameamua ku disarm uh, wananchi sasa huko the Amhara region watu wanadisamiwa sababu bana mtu ni civilian lakini yako na rocket propelled grenade ako na RPG anafanya nini nayo akichunga ng'ombe shwali U- unahitaji machine gun kuchunga ng'ombe shwali so hiyo kitu bana serikali kasema no 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 disarm all those people wacha bunduki zibaki na serikali raia wakuwe raia but now the Amhara wanajiambia mbona sisi pekee ndio tunakuwa disarmed watu wengine the rest of Ethiopia wanatembea na bunduki zao kwa nini nyinyi mnataka kutunyang'anya bunduki sisi na mbona hii treatment haifanyiwi wale watu wengine of course ikakuwa ni a reason for com- conflict vita ilikuwa inatandikana huko proper but sasa hii vile wameingia kuna vita ndio lakini si ile ngori sana kama ile mnasikia pale wa Tigray na nini ah but ni vita iko in fact mpaka organization yao hapa Kenya wamewapatia directive wakawaambia fanyeni aje eh msijali juu ya oh, pesa na nini na nini nyi tulieni si tutawa facilitate tu kama kawaida lakini msiende kazi until hiyo vita itulie tulie ma guys hao watu walibangaiza mwezi mzima wakingojea watu huko wamalize kupigana na serikali so ethiopia yani civilians sababu ya kukuwa na masilaha kali kali wako na ami yao yani civilian unaweza kuwa ni jeshi lakini wewe ni jeshi ya raia eh, the government wako na milishia yao sasa hao ndio watu wawili wanapigana jeshi ya serikali eh, ya, ya, ya raia inaitwa fano kenda tu google fano utawaona ni raia kabisa ni vile tu wamepiga hizo manini zao marisasi zimepita hapa kwa kifua oh eh hey, but ni hatari ni watu wa bad deadly wamepiga training safi so majama wetu wamebangaiza pale wanangojea fano na serikali wamalize kutandikana eh, of course after some time ah, kavita kaka die down eh, but civilians hawajasikia poa historia gava ya kudisam watu ina ina wa bad deadly Number two, Ethiopian uh, government wakati wana feel wanalemewa kidogo wakati wana feel wanataka additional manpower waga wanaenda wanatafuta additional eh, 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 personnel wa kukuja kusaidia kwa military na mostly wana recruiting wase fulani wa tribe inaitwa Oromo the oromos wanaendaga wanakuwa recruited wanaingizwa kwa the ethiopian uh, military wanasaidia sababu hao uh, ma civilians wanalemea sasa if you know your uh, geography history and civics unajua oromo si, si, si kama wale wa ethiopia unajua kuna wale wa ethiopia wa brown wale wanakaga nikawa mmesokiwa kwa maziwa daily au sasa ndio au the amharas au the amharic ethiopians wanakaga hivyo ni, wa, ni wa very light skin Awa maoromo ni kina sisi tu hapa yani <laughs> ni watu kakala kameshika kidogo so waga wana rekrutiwa na gava wana kumkusaidia combat kidogo so the amharic people waga washajua ukiwa tu hivi mko in conflict na serikali na muone watu wanakaikala au wana, wana act on behalf of the government so mkiona hao watu mnatandika niko sure by now you already seeing recipe for disaster haya ile vita imepungua kidogo walikuwa nyumbani mwezi moja 
wakaambiwa sasa mambo iko sawa mnaweza rudi kazi mnaweza ingia kazi sasa officially na wakaingia kazi wakaipiga vizuri kumbukeni walienda mwezi wa nne. wamekaa mpaka mwezi wa tano hakuna kazi inafanywa sababu ya ile vita e, fano wanapigana na serikali simwambia fano ndio milisha ya raia then by the time wanarudi kazi ni mwezi wa tano hapo wakapiga kiasi mpaka mwezi wa sita. mwezi wa sita, wakaambiwa na organization ni aje Ah, uh, mnaweza come home kidogo. Eh, mchekicheki hata familia kidogo kidogo alafu mtarudi tena wapi Ethiopia. Ah, of course deno wetu hapa anasikia fiti sababu this will be the first time anaenda kuona mtoto wake ambaye alizaliwa bana. Yaani wewe ndio baba mtoto na wewe ndio mtu wa mwisho kumuona. Hey. So of course wametoka pale Ethiopia, wamekuja Nairobi, ameenda amekutana na familia yake. Oh, happy moments. Mambo iko sawa, ameona Toto for the first time, he's happy. Anapiga live yake hapo anamaliza wakiwa na wenzake, wanakuwa recalled back to where? Ethiopia. Wakubaki hadi sababa, wanabaki hadi sababa. Watu wa kuenda Bahardar, wanaenda Bahardar. 500 kilometers from Addis. Ni huko up north by the way. Now, by the time hao watu wanarudi kazi e, ni around mwezi wa saba ikianza July wanaingia pale it is nani eventful hakuna mambo inafanyika ati ngori ngori hao wameenda wameingia business as usual kila kitu inaendelea kama kawa but kumbukeni hao ni foreigners wale civilians bado wako agitated serikali inawabo bado hii story ya kudisamu watu iko chini ya maji lakini inawabo hawataki so wako eh hey, kuna katenshin kako pale eh hey, wanangojea tu provocation kidogo katambe tena as kina Dennis wanaendelea na kazi prime minister wa Ethiopia anakumbuka wait a minute Ukifika Bahardar uendelee juu kidogo some 250 kilometers kuna ka town hapo kanaitwa Gondar Niko na mradi hapo Gondar kuna ka building nilikuwa na jenga jenga hapo kasupu sana watu wanakapenda in fact watu wanatokaga shughuli zao wanaenda kuona tu hiyo maskan Sasa president alikuwa anataka kwenda huko kuona kama mambo zimemalizwa kabisa ilikuwa e, bado building inashughulikiwa Eh, okay, tena sita building ni, ni ki complex ni place fit you yani unaweza ucheki ya so rais akasema anataka kuingia huko angalie mradi inaendelea namna gani hapa ni beginning of july before president at wa huko anaitwa prime minister before prime minister atoke shughuli zake aende kwa mahali fulani una check in mbali kutoka adis kwenda hiyo mtaa ni karibu kilomita saba na kitu Of course lazima atume eh, reki squad iende huko kwanza wapige reconnaissance waenda waangalie ground iko sawa especially seeing us huko ni the um, Hara region na kuna unrest so lazima watume military waende huko kwanza wapige pige nini wahakikishe ground iko sawa ndio prime minister atoke Addis akuje pale apige ziara yake rasmi akimaliza arudi bila tashwishi bila bugdha so it is exactly what happens a few military officers wanatolewa Addis wanakimbia mpaka Gondar which is 250 kilometers from uh, Bandar Har Mali kijana wetu Dennis yuko so wacheni ni wapatie tu context kidogo so Gondar ni it, it's 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 how can i you see the way ukiwa let's take Kiambu for instance banana iko Kiambu Limuru iko Kiambu county Kikuyu iko Kiambu County. Roiro iko Kiambu County. Lakini the, the, the administrative center ni Kiambu Town. Si ndio? It is the same uko. Bandarhar ndio the administrative center ya all those Amharic towns ziko huko akina Gondar akina ziko nyingi there are like 40 uh, small towns huko juu. So ukiwa na anything unahitaji usaidizi wa serikali ni nini, nini government services unasafiri kutoka mahali huko unakuja mpaka Bandarhar ndio usaidiwe pale. So by default inamaanisha government forces zilikuwa zimekita kambi wapi Bandarhar. Mahali 
kijana wetu Dennis ametumwa huko apige kazi so wakati raia wako na shida na serikali na wanataka ku serikali ni wapi wataenda watatoka mahali wametoka huko kuota kina gondar na wapi wakuje mpaka bandarhar kuzua huko eh sababu serikali iko huko military wametolewa Addis Ababa wamepelekwa Gondar kwenda kupiga reki ndio prime minister akuje guys i kid you not i don't know how this happened i don't know how possible this thing is but this military guys walifika Gondar hawakuwa na eni ya kununua chakula hawakuwa na maskani ya kutoa chakula they had no access to food hiyo kitu mpaka saina kaa hapa najiuliza how was that possible jo mimi nafikiria ukisha wewe ni mfanyikazi wa serikali wewe ni military ukitumwa mahali si, si, si serikali inafai hakikishe uko na hata maskani unaweza ingia upate chakula like huko gondar kwani our military hawana hata kabez kadogo like hao watu wakishapiga nini yao mchana wanaweza enda kulala huko usiku wapate chakula or something hiyo story mimi sikuielewa but believe it or not that is exactly what happened the military guys walikuwa walienda huko like 3 4 days in advance but the entire time wakiwa kule hawakuwa na access ya nini chakula so military guys wakajiambia tuwezi kaa hapa tukufe ubao tunafanyia serikali kazi na tunalala njaa haiwezi lazima tutafute namna tule where do they get their food from the military guys walikaa chini hapo gondar wakaangalia wakaona mafama fulani hapo wanalisha ngombe zao wakajua nice dina is that you i'll catch you later wakati mfama ameweka ngombe zake vizuri ameenda usingizi wale military guys wakakuja wakakomandia ngombe moja wakaingia nayo vichakani ngombe ikakula kisu moto ikawashwa teketeke na wakaenjoy barbecue yao safi Asubuhi bana fama anaamka anagundua ngombe yake ilichukuliwa anapiga upelelezi anapata serikali ndio imekula ngombe Of course hao watu wako na beef Wow these things right themselves So lazima bana hii kitu tusuluishe Mnakula aje ngombe ya raia Ah nduru zikaanzia hapo Wacha nikuambie hiyo ngombe ilileta vita ngori The fano the military wing ya civilians walikuja armed to the teeth kila kitu walienda wakatoa kwa store wakasema sasa hii serikali hiyo ndio ile tulikuwa tunangoja unajua unangojaga tu mtu akufinini mapua hivi wewe hiyo ndio unangoja hiyo they got it finally wacha nikwambie artillery ilitolewa let me tell you war erupted in gondar in biblical measures yani vita ya kimataifa ilikuwa ngori the military guys walikuwa wametumwa kupiga reconnaissance uh, ahead of the president's visit walimalizwa they were gunned down all of them of course walikuwa na mambo yao pia wakajaribu wakaangusha angusha maraia kadhaa lakini uh, they were outnumbered and outgunned hakuna vile wangeshinda hiyo vita so of course serikali kasikia wakatuma reinforcement huko we watu wetu wanapigwa gondar endeni wanaenda inachacha in, let me tell you the civilians came out in large numbers na walikuwa wamejitolea wamefika mwisho kama ni kudedi to dedi wale tumao askari tumalizane nao hapa imidi wali tandika serikali vitangori now this is gondar 250 kilometers from bandarhar wakina denis na wakenya wenzake wako huko wanasikia ngori hey nasikia imechacha gondar ah okay the following day hey imechacha ta- town gani hiyo town eh sasa ni like 200 kilometers to bandarhar haya eh hey. Yes ku ingine ai maze nasikia imechacha sijui town gani hiyo town ni 150 kilometers to bandarhar ah siku ya nne hey nasikia imechacha town fulani hiyo town ni 100 kilometers to bandarhar ikawa hit wait a minute awasewa na advance ama mbona kila siku tunasikia ni kama 
Ah so anakuja kuja. Eh eh si ndio anagundua. Fano military ya raia wameamua since serikali ndio imeamua tupimane nguvu tunaanza na hiyo administrative center yetu wapi Bandarhar. So wanakuja kuvuruga hapa katikati ya jiji. Bandarhar yenye kina Dennis wako na kikosi yake ya Wakenya. By the way walitulia tu hivi wakasema waki advance one more time tunapiga nduru. Ai, kwa nini kesho? Wako 50 kilometers away wana come guy aso anakuja panga mikakati ongea na HQ pale Nairobi Kenya watutoe hapa tutoke sababu hii raia ikifika nasikia ile mambo wanafanya wakikaa hivi si mchezo so communication 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 ikafika Nairobi ni aje hapa kuna chacha e, ebu angalieni muone vile tunaweza uh, anza kukuja ai before long ah si majamaa wako Bandar Har Bandar Har ina waka kuwaka. Washafika. Sasa kina Dennis wamewekwa on lockdown. Hakuna kutoka nje. Munakaa kwa nyumba. A, bahati walikuwa wamejipanga panga na tu supplies lakini sasa hizi supplies wezi kaa hapo na kwa nyumba na container mzima ya supplies. Si ni nyumba tu kama hii. So eventually help is pokuja what run out. Hey, let me tell you walika. From beginning of July until mwisho wa Ah actually no by the time hizi advancement zinakuja ni July inaenda kuisha sasa wameingia Agosti sasa Agosti imeenda imechacha deadly yani huko ni noma walika kwa nyumba for a month a whole month so by the time August is coming to an end hawa se wako wapi wako kwa nyumba na ni kwa nini ah watu wamekaa kwa nyumba mwezi mzima mpaka imeenda kuisha ni sababu by the time wanapiga ripoti kusema oya mayday 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 hapa kumechacha tutoeni hapa hivi it took a bit of time for organization yao ku kujipanga panga lipa matikiti organize evacuation nini nini so by the time organization inapanga mikakati unajua hizi kwa instant lazima wapatie siku mbili tatu kwanza wapange pange mambo ndio mchukuliwe fiti by the time organization inajipanga ethiopia wamefanya ile kitu wanafanyaga kukiwa na ngori wanafanya nini wanazima communication kuna internet sasa hata watu mtawatoa wapi wamejaribu organization wamejaribu kuricha watu na hakuna number two, hii vita imekuwa ngori mpaka sasa watu wameanza kufunga ndio hawa watu wasi advance zaidi so kuna ma lockdown kwa ile lockdown ilikuwa hapa time ya covid eh mtu wa kiambu aezi enda past eh, dumberi akikuja hivi aezi kuja past kist akienda bas same same so sasa bandar har imefungwa so hata wasa wa kiamua kutoka hadi sababu wakimbia hiyo 500 kilometers kuokoa watu wana hawaezi sababu kuna wa eh imefungwa so majamaa si ni wabangaize wakapiga kambi wewe mwezi mzima supplies zinaenda tu zikiisha tu zinaenda zikiisha sasa imefika point hapa balance diet pengine tuweke hot and sweet kwa ice cubes sababu hakuna kitu chakula kinkwisha bandar har ni tao si kama ushago unajua mazenge kwa place kama wapi kama butere tunaweza ingia hapo nje bana tulimelime pilipili hoho hapo tukule na kitu a huku ni tao eh si ni mwasho ni administrative center pale so ni concrete jungle so pia wanategemea food toke sijui wapi iletwe na malori mpaka kwa masoko ndio hao watoke waende kwa soko wanunue but kuna ngori foreigners wameambiwa musitoke nje kaeni kwa nyumba tafadhali sababu mkitoka huko nje ni blanda so these guys had no choice but to sit in the house until my birthday on 28th of August this year by 28th watu wamepigana ya kutosha serikali imepigwa kama mtoto mdogo wamenyoroshwa kama mwizi wa kibeti wametolewa hiyo mtaa yote like it was so bad kitu ikikufanyikia uende kwa polisi mnajipata nyinyi wote mmeshtuka guy sasa tutafanya nini kama wao umepigwa hivi si hata sisi watatumaliza hakuna mtu anakusaidia ni noma military wametolewa kambi zote gone fano ni hatari walimaliza kupiga polisi na military wakaenda prison wakafungulia wafungwa sasa sasa wafungwa ni waizi e, usiku asubuhi kifika wanakuwa jeshi wanakuwa milisha 
eh kunyorosha tu watu town hakuna kazi nyingine ina happen it was chaotic but by year 28th of august wakaanza kusikia ni kama mambo inatulia tulia bado kuna tension lakini ni better sasa hii milio za risasi zimepungua pungua kiasi ni nini nini wakajiambia maybe si kubaya sana i think tunaweza jaribu jaribu tuone kama tunaweza pata namna ya kutoka apart from ile kikosi walikuwa nayo pale walikuwa nafanya hiyo kazi ya kulekcha lecture mambo ya ngirigasha kuna bado wa Kenya wengine walikuwa huko kuna mafadha wawili walikuwa huko sababu unajua kuna part of Ethiopia ambayo Catholic kabisa so kuna mafadha walikuwa wametolewa Kenya wamepelekwa huko kufanya mambo ya huduma <laughs> So father wawili wakakamu wakajuana na hiki kosi yetu ya kina Deno sana ni mabeste wamekuwa kiongea hii mwezi moja wako lockdown at least wana kipiana company huku ikichacha kabisa kwa kina Dennis walikuwa wanatafuta namna wanatembea tembea chini ya maji wanaenda kwa kina father juu kina father for some reason walikuwa na supplies miss juice hao walikuwa wanatoa wapi but hawa hawakuwa ikatikiwa so wanaenda wanakula kula huko nini kiasi then wana snake around their way back to the to the uh, residents. Sasa ikafika hiyo 28th ikakuwa hawa mafadha mmoja wao. No 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 not mmoja somebody else alikuwa anaishi na hawa mafadha alikuwa na anarudi Kenya. So ikasemekana ina mambo eh, sababu sisi ni mafadha na wewe unataka kurudi Kenya. Sijui umse eh, designation yake ilikuwa nini. Sidhani alikuwa mtu wa kanisa. Ama he was the third no Sidani alikuwa mtu wa kanisa but alikuwa na, anatulia na ama father. Na ama father walikuwa na kademka na wachunga, kademka na wasaidia makazi za nyumbani nini but the chick was Amharic. Alikuwa mu Ethiopia. So ika, oh no. U, ah, it was another Ethiopian. Huyu mtu alikuwa anampeleka kwa airport ilikuwa ni mu Ethiopia mwingine. Eh but alikuwa anatoka hiyo country yake. I, I think alikuwa anakam Kenya or something. So my father akamwambia ni aje mtu wangu Ah si tukupeleke wapi? Tukupeleke airport. We uingie ndege we uende safari zako. Naona ni kama kume tulia tulia. Akina deni hapa wakasikia. Ah, eh mna lapia airport. Eh maze tumekaa kwa keja sana. Wacha tutoke tu tukama maze tupige ile na nyinyi. So Dennis aka aka join hapo. I think kwa hiyo kikosi yake Dennis ndio alikuwa peke yake. Then mafadha wawili walikuwa hapo. Then eh, the chick ambaye anakaa na mafadha pale walikuwa pale plus now the ethiopian who was traveling so walikuwa watu watano e, kwa kavan kazuri so e, wakaingia kavan wakaenda pole 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 wakaenda paka wakafika kwa airport akukua na ngori paka wakajiambia by the way i think mambo imetulia mambo iko sawa sasa ule mu ethiopia akashuka van aka disappear ndani ya airport yake akaenda kachukua ndege yake akasafiri hawa sasa kurudi nyumbani wakajiambia hapana kwa nini tunaenda nyumbani tumekaa kwa hiyo nyumba bana mwezi mzima bana wacha tutembee tembee tuone ma damage zinaweza kuwa zimefanyika ni kama gani hatujakuwa nje for a whole month bana ah so mafadha wakajiambia ni sawa kasichana hapa kama Ethiopia kakadai ni sawa eh tutembee tu, tukule laps tuko na kagari ketu hapa nini safi so wakaamua wacha tuende kwa viewpoint kuna place fulani eh, huko bandarhar karibu na mahali tu wako ukipanda panda juu kidogo huko Ethiopia kuna milima mob sana so kuna obviously places kwenye view point ukiwa kwa wako ka view point sasa so unaona bandarhar sasa the, the, the town pale chini vizuri inakapo nika ukiwa pale hapa hilo vile unaona gatao vizuri so akasema twende pale eh hapo kwa wako ka view point tutulie tulie hey, it's been long maze yeah, internet haiko uh, sana lakini at least simu sasa unaweza piga piga tu simu hapa na pale nini So wakapiga lap yao na gari teketeke wakapanda panda milima huko nini nini wakaenda wakafika wapi view point wakaegesha gari hapo na wakashuka wakaanza kuangalia nini mandhari ina wabamba kila kitu iko safi So kwa view point kuna ma bench hizi zinakoaga zimetengenezwa na concrete bench imekorogewa hapo So father huyo father mwingine na kademketu kama Ethiopia wamesimama juu ya bench ndio waangalie mandhari huko waone city vizuri pale down mzee mzima Dennis ako mbele yao anawa face e, ye angalie city nyuma yake anawa face ako kwa simu ana communicate na mjamaa mwingine i think ni au magaizu wake wenye alitoka nao Kenya wakiulizana kuna game ya Manchester leo twende tuione wapi 
Nashuku masaibu ziliwakumba sababu ilikuwa game ya Manchester. Ingekuwa ni game ya Arsenal lakuna kitu mbaya ingewafanyikia. Sasa e, akiwa hapo katika Pilgrim <laughs> Stia na niangalia vibaya. <laughs> so akiwa hapo kwa pilka pilka za kuambia mjamaa wacha tumalize hapa viewpoint kiasi tutashuka shuka huko matao tutafute maskan all of a sudden and scare movement kwa miti sababu hiyo place ni kifore hizo milima kuna a lot of uh, many trees tree cover deadly so ana chekinika kuna movement ndani ya miti so anamaliza na nasimu ndio angalie fiti eh hey, nimeona vitu zangu nini hiyo time kuna familia imeingia na tuktuk Actually family ikikuja hawa watu jua walikuwa na gari wali wa overtake wakaenda wakafika viewpoint then katuktuk kana ngangana pole pole tuktuk iko na familia kama watu watatu ndani so ako kwa simu amemaliza amesikia movement kwa miti before atulia angalie eh rada inaweza kuwa ni gani watu watano pa wametokelezea tu kwa miti wako na masks maze aliona tu masks eh, eh, masked gunmen akajua ah, kimeturamba ni noma sababu after zile ngori zi happen na watu wa release kutoka prison walikuja wakaanza kuterrorize wa say deadly na ilikuwa ukibiwa unapelekwa huko kwa forest wanakushutu huko wanakuacha muna tafuta mtu wenu deadly arufu ndio itawaambia kuna mtu ni kama amekufia huko kwa miti so mwanze immediately hiyo ndio kitu ile come to mind eh hey, deno akajua gai 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 hapa ni ngori so hawa majamaa wakatokea wanaongea amharic mazee wana shout wana shout hawa say wote ni wa Kenya isipokuwa akakadem kama Ethiopia so hawa say wanafuata kile mdema anafanya wakiona mdema amepiga magoti wanajua oh haya hivyo ndio wamedai wanapiga magoti dema kila la chini kwa grau haya wanalala chini hawa majamaa wakakaa mazee wali wataandika vita ngori marungu mateke mangumi yani ilikuwa noma na wako na maguns zimekokiwa wanaekiwa kwa kichwa wase wana shout na amharic asa wajui amharic wana wamechanganyikiwa deadly at some point deno akajua ni hivyo mambo yangu imeisha so wakiwa kwa hiyo harakati si waka notice kuna tuktuk pale iko na familia kwanza kadhaa wakaenda huko wakatandika hiyo familia iko huko vitangori denis alikuwa 100% sure mambo yao imeisha sababu hao majamaa wanapigwa vitangori hivyo ni wa ethiopia like kama wenyeji wanapigwa hivi na sisi sisi si watatumaliza bana so wakamalizana na ile eh hawa watu bado wanajaribu kuongelesha hawa kiamhari kwa discover oh, wait hawa watu ni foreigners kusikia hawa watu ni foreigners kwanza wale walikuwa natandika watu wa tuktuk wakaachana na watu wa tuktuk kwanza wakarudi but after wamewaibia kila kitu wakarudi maze wakaendelea kunyeshea hawa vita foreigners mnafanya nini hapa mdem akainua mkono ye yeah, anaongea ki amharika anajua ni akainua mkono akasema wateni niwaambie ukweli ah watu ni watu wazuri sana in fact ah wawili unaona hapa ni mapadre wa kanisa ya katoliki huyu ni mtu anafanya kazi ya kufundisha watu ukulima huku ni watu wazuri i want any bad bone in them ai 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 kumbe ndio ameharibu wale wa Ethiopia ni wale wanaitwa Orthodox Christians. Ah watambui ah wakatoliki. Walisikia kwanza ni wakatho waliwatandika vita nyingine sasa deadly zaidi. Yeah, sasa ni ya kumaliza. At some point mazem one of the guys alichukua gun akakok akaweka kwa kichwa ya Dennis akapull trigger. Ka ikalia. Ka. 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 Mazee hakuna kitu imetoka. Akatoyo ni magazine akaiangalia I think ilikuwa ina kitu. Akatupa magazine chini akatandika Dennis hiyo bati ya rifle Hwa! Dennis chini father moja alikuwa hapa akakula teke ya kichwa kwanza akazima immediately i think walisikia sauti ya microsoft unajua <laughs> gone huyo mambo yake kuisha e, moja tu ndio amebaki hapa anajisikia sikia na kadem kadem pia ni ka ethiopia na kana kula mako, makofi proper so wale majamaa wakawaibia kila kitu masimu cash nini everything gone vita inaendelea sasa hiyo hakuna ati muachwe mupumue mnapumua nini vita inaendelea wakiibiwa tu so ndio wakati wako kwa hizo pilka pilka wakapata marosary au mafadha wawili wako na marosary wame ziko ndani ya manguo hivi so waka, nini marosary eh, na i think moja alikuwa na pendant iko na ile picha ya maria ile so orthodox waga wametii maria deadly hiyo ndio kitu iliyoko hapa jamaa. Waliona Maria hapo wakaachana nao. But wakawaibia kila kitu, but ni wangwana waliwarudishia nini? 
documents zao ma passport nini any document driving license ule one of the fathers hapo alikuwa na driving license yeye ndio alikuwa na drive wakarudishia eh, kila kitu but there are other things waliiba mpaka kwa ile family nyingine huko kila kitu apart from the tuk tuk driver the tuk tuk driver alikula beating kidogo lakini hakuibiwa so na vile watu watano wa shama liza wamemaliza na hiki kosi hapa wameingia kwa msitu kule tuk tuk driver wetu akaanza kujishuku eh hey, akaanza kujiambia sasa hawa se ile vita mazee imetembea hapa afu mimi sijaibiwa kitu si watajua mimi ndio nime eh hey, akawaambia hapa anafanyeni aje nifuateni twendeni moja kwa moja mpaka police station twende to report eh hey, ndio m- wasione ni kama huyu jamaa alikuwa na anything to do with your robbery wakakubali kumbukeni pasta aliachiwa kifungu ya gari haikuibiwa but gari liransakiwa deadly anything valuable ilikuwa hapo gone so watu wakaingia kwa gari huyu wa kuzima akaanza kuzimuka <laughs> akawekwa kwa gari hata yeye teketeke aende akipigwa na upepo wa mkie mbele hao wengine wakaingia kwa gari tekengori wakafuata mtu wa tuktuk mpaka kwa police station wanaingia kwa police station wanapata polisi wameogopa hata kualiko wewe wanauliza sasa tufanye nini guys kama nyimu na gongo hivi sisi tu watatumaliza ni tafuteni tu design muende kwa nyumba mutulie na mkiulizwa na mtu hata msiseme tuko kwa station ni, ni ngori hapa tunaishi na uoga watu wanatufanya mbaya so wakaona hapa kwa polisi ya wasaidiki teke teke wakaenda wakafanya nini wakaingia kejani na wakatulia ule eh, priest mwenye alitandikwa kichwa akazima at least mambo yake iko sawa eh, akukua na maenjari ngori juu hata hospitali unaenda wapi noma alipona tu kwa nyumba kama mtu wako na <laughs> boil <laughs> unaponea kwa nyumba tu <laughs> so after some time wakiwa hapo mazee wameingiza baridi deadly somehow wakaweza kupata connection to Addis wakaambia wase pale Addis mazema eh hey, ni ngori hapa ni noma tume hey, tumefanywa mbajo kuna design tunaweza tunaweza kutoka so finally ile mipango ilikuwa imepangwa ya kuwa evacuate wakapata design ya kufikisha majamaa wakapaka virago haraka faster and they were out of bandar har haraka ngori wakaenda wakafika airport pale Addis wakapanda ndege yao piu na kila mtu akarudi Kenya Maze hii imekuwa ni miezi walirudi mwezi wa tisa. So ni like two months eh, tangu warudi. Eh but ile PTSD wametoka nayo huko. Trauma, hatari. Wanajiambia we kusafiri tunapenda lakini Ethiopia. Nama 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 nama. Tujikute. Tukirudi hiyo inchi ya anaitwa Zaude. <laughs> anaitwa Jule madam wa Ethiopia wak yeah but uzuri ni kwamba they know you safe and sound kikosi yake ya wale watu walikuwa na na, na bandar haru walitoka fiti pia kikosi ya Ethiopia Addis hawakukula ngori sana hao wa bandar haru ndio walipo walikula pressure yeah yeah, yeah but wako sawa kila mtu alirudi Kenya safe and sound uh, actually as we speak i think Dennis alipata mission nyingine eh, but to another country sio sio Ethiopia Ethiopia nayo uongo mbaya hiyo sijui mtampea nini arudi huko alijionea alikuwa karibu kwenda by the kitu ili happen ni gani ilikuwa inatumika na huyu jamaa sijui ilijama ama ni bullets ilikosa ingekuwa bana ni luere mambo yake ingeishia huko bas na hapo ndio nafungia bana kipindi ha imekuwa true sana wadau tutaonana katika kipindi kijacho yeah otherwise nyinyi ni wa true mubarikiwe sana eh hey, kajus na kabaridi vizuri mm Adios muchachos guys. Peace. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah.